So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to put together a custom function, which is a very simple script that allows you to count cells where the background color matches the cell where you put the formula. And so, for example, here it's light yellow, and then we have all of these that have that same one. So if I change this to this teal, for example, and check this to refresh, you can see now it comes up with nine. And so if we go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's just counting those. So you can do this with a count or you can do this with a sum and it's gonna get the actual values out of those cells. So how do you do this? So extensions and app script. And so if you have not created that, go ahead and create that. And then you can call it whatever, I just call it script. And then we have two scripts right here. So first is count cells. And so this is that count cells that I use right here. And so the first part of this is the range that you want to count. And so it can be a single column, it can be a row, it could be a 2D table just like this. And then the second thing here is a checkbox. And the reason for the checkbox is without that, this won't automatically refresh. So for example, if I come down here and change this one to that teal, nothing happens. So this checkbox, what it does is it forces a refresh of that custom function. So it recalculates what it is. And so now you can see it has 10. So that's the only purpose this serves is just to trigger that refresh. So you can refresh it whenever you need to. So this count cells, I'm going to quickly run you through this and I'm going to give you what the difference is on this sum cells. And so basically what we have here is a custom function. I'm not going to go through this. This is called JS doc. And this is just the helper text that shows up. Just like that. So you can take a look at that kind of use this for your own purposes, but I just want to focus on the function for now. So this checkbox cell doesn't do anything. And theoretically, this count range doesn't do anything either. Because of the way we're using this backgrounds, we have to actually go back to the sheet and get those backgrounds. So if you want to use custom functions for other things, when you get a custom function and you have a range like this, it actually doesn't pass any data about it. It just passes the regular numbers. And so if we wanted to add up these numbers, we could do that very easily. But if we want to look at the backgrounds, we actually have to go back to that spreadsheet app, get active range. And then here's where we're getting the background from that cell. And then we have to deconstruct the formula to get the range reference. So to get this part out of there. And then we can go back and get the actual range, get the backgrounds from the range. And so at this point, we have an array of backgrounds. And so it'd be something like this yellow, gray, yellow, yellow, gray, etc. And then there's gonna be multiple rows, obviously. And so we have multiple columns, multiple rows. And so the way we iterate through it is we go row by row, and that's what this is doing. And then within each row, we're looking at column by column. And then if we look at that individual cell, that's the same color as our color from the cell where we put the formula. So that'd be this one right here then we're going to increase the count. And so we start the count at zero. Every time it matches, we're gonna increase the count by one. And then at the final, we'll return that count. So some of this obviously isn't gonna make sense. Uh, this regex match is probably the most complicated part. And this is basically looking at count cells. So it's looking for this first part of this formula. And then basically what it's doing is extracting that. So I just used chat GPT. I just gave it, fed it this and said, hey, I want to find this B6 to J11 out of there. And this is what it fed back. So if you have something slightly different, I would just recommend the same thing to get this regex. And then you can go on from there. And then the rest of this should be pretty straightforward. All right, so the difference on the sum cells. And if you're just now wondering, I don't know if I can type all this out. I am going to have a link in the description below where you can make a copy of this template. And it's going to have the script on here. So then you just go to extensions app script and you'll see it just like this. And so you can just copy this whole thing right to your own sheet or the whole thing, including the sum cells. And then the way you'd use it is the same way as we have right here. So all you need is a cell where you're going to select that background. So the same background that you match against. And then you just need a cell with a checkbox. And so then inside this count cells, you're going to put that range 
comma, and then that checkbox cell. So that checkbox cell is D2. And so that's what we fit into it right there. All right, so that being said, let me look at this sum cells real quick, and then we'll wrap this video up. So sum cells does a very similar thing. And so a lot of this is gonna look all the same. The only difference is we have one more line here called let values, and then we have our let sum. And so then this iterates again, row by row, and then column by column. And then again, if it matches color, instead of count, we're going to do our sum plus our values. How this array iteration works, basically this i is a placeholder. And so every row, this is gonna increase by one. And so array actually starts at zero, not one. And that's why it starts at zero here. And so each row then, so this would be row zero, row one, row two, and so forth. And that does something on this one. So column zero, column one, column two. And so when you put them both together, this is basically going to be um, going like this. So it's going to start with row one and go like this. And then it's going to go row two and so forth. And so it's going cell by cell and looking at that background color and determining in the count one, whether it needs to count it, and the sum one, if it needs to take that value and add it to it. All right, so that is it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if this was helpful for you, and check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.